Hi friends, in this video, let us solve the signal stem unit question asked in gate 2005 to paper. The question is if u of t is the unit step and del of t is the unit impulse function, the inverse z transform of f of z is given by f of z is on by z plus 1, or k greater than 0 is given by dash. So they are given f of z, f of z is 1 by z plus 1. We don't know what is the z inverse z transform of 1 by z plus 1, but if I write in a different format, I will know that. So what is that? If I write 1 by z plus 1 as uh, z by 1 minus z by z plus 1, 1 minus z by z plus 1 will is equal to z plus 1 minus z divided by z plus 1, which is equal to 1 by z plus 1. So I write like this. Why I write like this? Because I know for a n u of n, the z transform as z by z minus a. So I want in numerator also z. That only will, will be giving a standard answer. So now f of z is this one. Now I take inverse z transform. Inverse z transform is f of n. So for one, we know for anything inverse z, one inverse z transform is mine del of n. For Lovelace transform, it is del of t. For a Fourier transform, del of uh, t again, right? So for whatever be the, if it uh, transformation is one, the inverse will be always impulse function by z minus z minus 1, this minus z by z plus 1, you compare with this, z by z minus a. So instead of uh, here, plus a means this should be minus a, right? So our answer is compare this to z by z minus 1. So I can write z minus a as z plus minus a. So I can write z plus minus, so this a should be minus a. So here a is z minus minus one z minus minus one. So compare with this, it is minus one power n u of n. Here they didn't give k n, they gave k. So write everything in terms of k and then k minus one minus one power k. That is f of k. So you can put del k minus minus one. This is wrong answer. This is always wrong. This is wrong. This is actually this should be UK. So if it's not that, so it is not issue. So the answer is option B. Thank you.